Hello, you are welcome again to this lesson of Literacy 1A. Last time, we looked at something. Do you remember my name? My name is Tumwine Joy. I teach P2 Literacy 1A, okay? Are you ready for the lesson? Yes, last time, I left you with work. Did you do it? How many did it? If you didn't do it, now listen carefully because I'm going to go through the work. I'm not giving you the answers. I know some of you are waiting. Ha! Huh? Teacher is going to give us answers and we just copy. Hey! I got you. I knew that you were always waiting for the answers and you just copied. Now listen. Number one was who heads a family? Who can tell me? Who heads your family? Do you know the answer? Yes, it is a father. A father heads a family. Look at that. A father heads a family. Some of you may say, but may I have my mother? I don't have a father at home. Yes, even a mother can, can head a family when the father is not there. Okay? So if you wrote mother, a mother heads a family, I will mark it because it is the mother who is there at home. Okay. Number two was apart from heading a family give any other role of a father there were very many roles i gave you buying food a father buys food a father protects the family a father looks after animals at home a father takes children to school a father pays school fees all those okay okay Number three was, how is a mother important in a home? A mother is very important. What did you say? Did you say that a mother washes clothes? Did you say that a mother cooks food? A mother, even a mother breastfeeds the baby, by the way. Did you write that? Even that one is correct. Okay? Very many answers. A mother... Uh, uh, a mother looks after the family, cares for the children. A mother washes clothes. A mother irons clothes. All those are roles of a mother. Mm -hmm. Number four, give any two roles of children at home. I've, I gave you very many. What is your role at home? Uh, children fetch firewood. Children fetch water. Children mop the house. Children uh, wash the utensils. Children respect elders. All of those are correct answers. Uh -huh. Then last I said, draw yourself sweeping the compound. Have you ever swept the compound? Do you know how to sweep it? Yes, I want to see that picture. Yourself sweeping. I hope you don't sweep while standing. You have to bend, okay? All right, thank you very much. If you did the work, thank you very much. Uh, you are a good child. <coughs> mm -hmm. Now today we are looking at a different thing. Another thing which is different from the family. We finish the family now. Okay. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to define cultural practices. Cultural practices. Just pay attention. We are going to look at it. Then I expect you to mention types of culture. Yes? Uh -huh. I expect you to list down examples of cultural practices. Okay? And lastly, which I have not written here, you must define culture. What is culture? Just listen. Let's go. Cultural practices and values. Define culture, huh? You see? Define culture. Do you know culture? Just pay attention. And we look at it. Uh huh. Culture is the way people live in an area. Look at the word area. Look at the word culture. What is culture? Culture is the way people live in an area. It can be culture is the the, the, the way people live, even if you stop there, I can mark you. It is correct. Yes? 
Uh -huh. Or you can say, culture is people's way of life. Okay. Now, what are cultural practices? Cultural practice, a cultural practice is acceptable behavior according to different cultures. There are so many cultures. In Uganda here, there is, there is their culture, there is the culture of Baganda. They, for me, uh, I have my culture from where I come from. Even you, we have different cultures, okay? Okay, so cultural practice is acceptable behavior, what you can do, and people are not, it doesn't affect any other person. Maybe it is not bad, it is good, and people are happy with it. That is a cultural practice. Every culture has a cultural practice. They have things they do in their culture as a culture together. Okay? All right. Okay. Now, we have examples of cultural practices. Examples of cultural practices. People, what people do in their culture. Different people do different things in different ways. Greeting. Where, the way people greet, for example, here in Uganda, you cannot greet someone while standing, maybe if you are greeting in English. But you have to kneel, they kneel and greet. If you don't kneel and you are in Uganda, that is bad. You are, not, you are not doing the culture, you are not in the culture, you are not respecting your culture. So, way of greeting. Another one is language. We speak different languages. You speak Uganda, I speak Rishiga, another one speaks Rusoga, another one speaks Lua, another one speaks different languages. So that is another example of cultural practice. Another one, cooking, way of cooking. Some, of, some people just put food in the in water and they cook. Here in Uganda, you, can't say, uh, you cannot cook matoke in water. You are not a Muganda. That is not their culture. You have to put it in, in, in banana leaves and fold it properly and, eh, and do it. Girls, if you're in Uganda, have you learned how to do it during this holiday? Make sure you learn it. Okay, so naming. There is also naming. When a child is born, it is, that child is taken to the grandparents to be given a name. Yes? And you find people celebrating to name the child. So that is culture. Every culture, every tribe has a different way of naming the child. Then praying, the way of praying. Yes, some people pray from the shrines. Some go to, the, they have their ways of praying, okay? Uh-huh. Then another one is dressing, traditional dresses. Okay, do you know a traditional dress in Uganda? That is a gomez and a kanzu. Uh -huh. In our place, uh, in Kabare there, in our place, they will, for us, we put on a dress and a, a, a cloth, which we call a suit. Okay? All right. In the different, so different uh, cultures have different dressing. Okay? They dress different, differently. Then marriage. Different cultures marry in different ways. Okay? So that is also an example of cultural practice. Another one is dancing. Do you know the types of dances? The traditional dances? Do you remember when we had the competitions here? Some have uh, the Bachiga dance in a different way, Baganda dance in a different way, the Batoro dance in a different way. So they have different dances. So way of dancing. When you look at someone dancing, you say, eh, this one comes from, mm, this one comes from the north. This dance is from the north. Well, because of the way they dance it. Okay. Then there is way of performing funeral rites. Do you know funeral rites? Eh, when someone dies, they bury that person. Then after some time, they, go, they come, they go, the, the, the family members, members come, they, 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 it is like a party. Then they, they, put the, they put an air. Do you know an air? That person who is picked by the family members, or maybe the father wrote it in, in, in a will, that this one, when I die, this son of mine will take over the family, will look after others. So that is an heir. That's when they put that one on the funeral rites. Like here 
uh, I, I, I refer mostly in Uganda here because that's where we are. You find when there is a big party, they, then they bring the back cloth. Do you know back cloth? Eh, do you find out? The back cloth, then they put on that, they, they, they make him wear that back cloth and they put him somewhere and they say, this one now is the head of the family that is on funeral rites. Then there's circumcision. Circumcision, do you know the tribes that circumcise? Yes, are you a Mugisu? You are one of them. When you grow, you will be circumcised, yes? Another tribe which circumcises is the Bam, it comes from there in Kasese, you can tell me. The Bakonjo also circumcise. Okay, all right, so that is their tribe. Then there is way of worship. Different cultures worship in different ways. Okay, yes, so that is also one way. Can we read the examples of cultural practices? Greeting, language, cooking, naming, praying, dressing, marriage, dancing, way of performing funeral rites, circumcision, ways of worship. Okay? All right. <clears throat> now, I've given you a simple activity. Very simple. Have you seen it? Number one says, what is the culture? Do you remember what I said? What, what we read from here, I defined it in three ways. You will answer that question. Name the two types of culture. Did I tell you that? Oh, the two types of culture. Then uh, we had, if you can't remember that, there is that, uh, that uh, material culture which you can touch. Like way of dressing, I can touch the dress and that is the material type. Then the only material is that one that you cannot touch. You just see it. Or you, can, you just hear it or you just see, you see people doing it. Then mention any four examples of cultural practices. I mentioned very many. They were like 10 or more. So you just pick only four and write them. Okay? Thank you very much. You have been good listeners. You have been paying attention. Thank you, good children. Till we meet next time.